Hello and welcome to this review of DupDup. Now DupDup is TTS software that is a little bit special and a little bit better than its competitors. Let's get into it. So I'm in the DupDup TTS editor and as you can see I've just typed out some I would say bullet points and features because I'm going to go through them one by one and you're going to see how they work and what you can do in DupDup. We can see we get 10,000 characters per script. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the multiple speakers. So I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to go over to multi speaker and we're going to pick who speaks it. So we're going to go for Abby first and I'm going to apply this for Abby. And then over here, I'm going to go over to multiple speakers. So I'm going to pick Jensen and I'm going to click apply and let's listen to that. So I'm just going to put the cursor here. Hello and welcome to this video review of DupDup. DupDup has the following features. Multiple speakers, speaker emotions. Now what I can do as well is we've got emotions. So if I go to Jensen, I'm going to do shouting for this sound effects. So we should see a difference here. Emphasis, sound effects, background music. Say yes. So we can see those different types of emotions. Now, some people really like those and some people think they're no good. And some people are always going to stick to the default. But with Dupped Up, you have them. So we can put in pauses. So if I want to add a pause, I click here and we can pick how long in milliseconds. So let's pick 600 milliseconds and play this from here. Pauses. Emphasis. Sound effects. There is a pause there, a notable pause compared to when we heard those other things being said. You can also put in sound effects. Now, after sound effects, that seems like the ideal place to put a sound effect. So let's go to sound effect and let's put in helicopter. So after sound effects, we'll hear a noise of a helicopter. And if we hover over, we can adjust the volume. Or well, let's make it really loud. So let's play from here. Paces, sound effects. background music okay and that takes us on nicely to background music so if we go to background music we can pick some background music let's pick the broken we can preview here of course custom music we can upload our own ones if we want to but let's pick um the broken and that's going to play throughout the whole tts so i'm going to start from say as Say as numerous speaking enhancements, very pop. And if we go up here, we can change the um, volume of the background music. Very powerful exports, folder options, also has. Now, I don't have time to go into it, but there's lots and lots of things we can do to the actual voice itself. We can have aliases, we can have rhythm, we can have say as if we don't like the way things are said, we can emphasize things. We can have heteronyms, which I must admit, I'm not sure what that is. We can change the speed. So we can do different things to the pause. So what we can do is we can set how long a pause is for a comma, period, um, all these grammar things, we can set how long the default pause is. This is really, really impressive. One thing I do like is the export, because if I go up here to export, not only can I export as a WAV or an MP3, I can export subtitles or I can export as video. Now, this is really interesting because if I export as video, I'll get a green screen vertical video. But what's really good, I can select MP4 with subtitles. Now, that I think is a bit of a game changer. So I'm going to export that and we're going to look at it. Hello and welcome to this video review of DupDup. DupDup has the following features. So what I could do very easily is if I export this TTS, I can put this over the top of a video and not only do I get my voice, but I also get the captions in the middle of the screen. Now I might need to do some adjustments if it's a landscape video. It will be very easy to quickly chroma key out this green screen and then we've got perfectly synced captions because I've typed them in and they're spoken. I think that is really, really good. So other things we can do is I can go and put this in folders and I can go and create my own folders so I can manage my TTS scripts really well. And while we can't see it within this screen because we are in the TTS scripting screen, we can do a few other things. If I go to transcript down here, I can upload a file and I will get a transcription. Now I don't have to upload a file. I can use a link from the video from YouTube and I'll get a transcription. That's really good. 
I can also do translation from one language to another and there's going to be an auto detect. Now you get this in Google so this is a nice feature but it's certainly not a must-have feature in my opinion. If we go to the upgrade page you can use DubDub for free because there's a free trial and then if you wanted to um, pay for it it starts at $11 and you'll notice here on the paid plan we've got the cloned voice integration so I don't think I have that in my package because I bought a special one-off fee package from AppSumo and I don't think I've got clone voice there however if we go all the way over here we've got face cloning so if you were very serious about using this package you can actually do some face cloning so let's have a look at the face cloning so what you can do is you can actually create your own AI avatar with this software. Now, clearly it's going to cost some money because they don't give any prices, but you can do it in this software. So now it's time for conclusions. I think DupDup is really very good and has the most features of the text to speech softwares I've reviewed. The price seems on par with other providers and they offer a free trial. For Power TTS users, this is great software. However, due to the fact that DupDup is subscription only, some viewers may find other TTS softwares like Revoicer more appropriate as they offer a one-time fee purchase option.